Hi there. Now for this question then, you had to work out the value of k for which L was a tangent to C. And the answer is k equals 5 quarters. Now there's two methods that you can do to get this. And uh, in this video, I'm showing you how you do it by comparing the gradients. The alternative way, which I've done in a previous video, is to look at working out the root of the quadratic equation that you get when you equate these two equations together. So do check that one out as an alternative way and that in fact is the way I would normally prefer to do it. But uh, for this method anyway what we're doing is looking at the gradients. So the gradient at any point x on the curve c is given by differentiating this with respect to x. So you'll see that's what I've done. dy dx would equal 2 thirds x if you differentiated this in the usual way. Now the gradient of L is 3. Remember it's the m value of y equals mx plus c. So it's going to be the 3. Or you could just differentiate this. It will still come out to be 3. So what I've got then is that if I equate these two gradients together I get the x value at the point p. And it turns out to be 9 over 2. And I can substitute this value of x into equation c to get the corresponding y value. If we do that, as you can see here, it turns out to be 59 quarters, 59 over 4. And I can now substitute these values for x and y back into the equation of L, and that will give me the value of k. And that I've done here, and as you can see, it turns out that k equals 5 quarters. Okay?